How would you sneak your girlfriend that's hiding under your bed out because your parents came home a day earlier from their planned trip? Invite over like 10 friends and tell them to surprise you and then when they all leave your GF slips out with the crowd. I had a friend who pulled this off, it was spectacular. Deflate her, then simply roll her up and carry her out in a backpack. Tell your parents that you missed them and take them out for dinner. Have her march naked through the house and out the front door. Your parents won't believe it and will blame jet lag. Imagine having a problem like this and taking the time to ask Reddit LMAO. This entire comments section is a plot for a Mission Impossible film. Update, I invited my parents for dinner. They're coming with. She's letting herself out. Thank you all for help update number 2, my girlfriend sneaking out cost me $75 plus tip since I'm getting this one a lot, I can't have a girlfriend over because my parents are conservative Muslims and I'm not. Uh, I'd be in real danger of bad things. Also Muslim people can't date or have premarital touching opposite sex. Uh, get all the sheets you can from the linen closet, tie them together like a rope, and lower your girlfriend out a window to the ground. Set something very large on fire in the backyard and wait till your parents come out to see what the hell it is you're doing. Start screaming claiming she's a burglar and stomp her out alongside your parents. I actually have done something similar to this though not with a GF. I met up with an internet friend, neither of us had parents who would approve of meeting strangers let alone inviting them to your house but we decided to meet up anyway. His dad came home early so I vaulted behind a sofa then hid till he went upstairs, then snuck out the back door while my friend chucked my shoes out of the front so I could go round and pick them up. That was fun. Edit, after reading through other comments I now realize you are actually in this situation it's not just a theoretical question as I first assumed, but you have found a good solution, would you care to provide a progress update to sap my curiosity? Smiley face, edit 2, holy bejesus this blew up, thanks for all the upvotes. Please help. Wait till they go to bed. Wait for your parents to die until letting her come out. Get a box from your last Christmas or birthday, biggest box you can get. Put it over her head and make sure she stops moving when the parents look. Trust bro, I seen it in a video game. One piece at a time. You're gonna have to set up a distraction operation. The plan, get your parents to go outside somehow. If you can get them outside she's home free. Need blueprints of your house first. The window, probably. Or just have her sleep in my room and set an alarm for early in the morning. Murder is also an option. Body is a pain though. Fill the toilet up with toilet paper flush so it'll get congested while your parents look for the toilet sneak out your girlfriend. Simple. Distract your parents, or agree to assist with dinner. Get them occupied, keep them busy. If that doesn't work, wait until one is in the bathroom, shower, and lure the other into a situation. Ask an uncomfortable question, such as bring up that car you wanted, or that you suddenly want to go out with friends on a day you very well know, is not a good day. As you're walking in the room to pin one or both parents in, sneak a thumbs up on your phone to your girlfriend. If not, fake an immensely loud sneeze as a signal. That's about all I have scrounged when it comes to extensive advice. As a girl, having a girlfriend would mortify my parents and likely send my grandmother into cardiac arrest, so I feel you man. I already have this garbage planned out. Closing parenthesis. Shag her again with loud moaning from both, they know not to bother you then. I did something like this before. When I was 17 I snuck my boyfriend in my house at night. Unfortunately my mom decided to move to the couch in the middle of the night where she had view of the door to my room. I couldn't get him out my windows because one window went to the backyard where we had dogs and the other was blocked by large furniture that we couldn't quietly move. In the morning, she finally moved to her bedroom but had the door open where she could see the front door. Even if her door was closed she'd also be able to hear it if I opened the front door and would ask where I was going. So I called another friend and asked him to come to my house but park a few houses down and text me when he was there. I told my mom we were going to check out the local community college while my boyfriend hid in my room. When my friend texted me I went to use the bathroom in my mom's room, told my friend to come to my door but wait for me to open it. Then as I left my mom's room I casually closed the door behind me, rushed to let my friend inside and rushed him into my room. 
Like I expected my mom instantly got up to see why the front door was open, even though she knew my friend was picking me up. But when she sees my boyfriend in my room, she assumes he just got there with my other friend. So my boyfriend snuck out of my house by casually walking out the front door in front of my mom. She never suspected that he was there all night. Drill a hole, payday theme plays in the back. Asking for a friend. Long overcoat with collar pulled up, fedora, fake mustache. She walks through the house, tips her hat, and says in a deep voice. Ma'am, sir. Well, everything appears to be in order here, no need to get up, ill show myself out. Have a good evening. Walks out front door like a boss. Done and done. Tell them to follow you outside because you saw something really cool. Meanwhile your girlfriend can walk right out the front door and go on about her day. She's still there is not she? In this scenario do I own a launching device of any sort? So for future reference, the best thing to do in this scenario if you want to save money and have a clean getaway is to time your escape with them going to the bathroom, which is usually the first thing you do when you get home from a trip, if we're being honest. They go in, she goes out. Another good method is to create a distraction by knocking something over in the back of the house away from your room. Think of it like the office scene from The Matrix. Your last option is to open a window, all bedrooms should have one, let her get out, then tell her to Jason born her butt across that yard while praying for the best. Sneak her out the back door and tell her to go around to the front door and ring the bell. Parents think she just showed up. This actually worked for me. Closing parenthesis. R, oddly specific. I was dating this girl I met in a church group and had her over while my parents were gone. I just acted like we were watching The Office and because of how we met my parents actually believed me. They were still properly pissed, but not as much as they could have been. Two options. Open the window, remove the screen, and have her climb out. Option two wait until your parents have been in bed for a few hours then take her out the front door. Tell them you're gay and that you weren't expecting them home and your boyfriend is still in the house. Then when it turns out that she's a girl, they'll cry tears of relief. Winking face. I wouldn't be worried about my parents. How can I get her out past the wife? I just imagine his girlfriend's hiding under his bed as he furiously asks Reddit what to do. Bro, you should have just sat on her shoulders and put on a trench coat. Then just walk the fluff out, your parents would have never known. This man just asked Reddit to help sneak his girlfriend out of his house so his parents wouldn't know are mad lads. In very small pieces? Someone posted their scenario when it happened on art teenagers and they just waited until all family members left the house, went to work. Or, your parents are probably pretty tired after a trip, wait for them to go to sleep. Own it. Politely introduce her to everyone and leave through the front door. People respond well to honesty. Start furiously masturbating on the table in order to assert dominance. Please help, question is time sensitive. Ha, jokes on you because I don't have one. Oh wait. I don't need to, she just a concept in my mind you know. Open window breathe in yeet. Bold of you to assume that I have a girlfriend. R, suspicuously specific. Alright so here's what you do, you tell your parents that you guys were at a party and now she's too drunk to go home and since you're concerned about her safety you're letting her crash at your place for the night. Sure you may get in a bit of trouble for the party thing of your parents are jerks but it'll probably be better than the trouble you'd get in otherwise. Roll the corpse out the window and into the bushes. You can properly dispose of it later. This is an oddly specific query. What's with you people and hiding boyfriend, girlfriend from parents? What kind unreasonable and distrusting parenting is going on here? Put a horse mask on her and ride her through the kitchen and out the back door. That happened to me. Mom came home early from a weekend trip. My GF slid off the bed into the crack between the bed and the wall. When mom jumped in the shower, GF slipped out the side door and rode my bicycle home. I suppose we'll get the answer on our Tifu later. Smiley face. If sneak and put a bucket over the parent's head. Sneak her out afterwards. I live in a house upstairs so a fall from here wouldn't be great. I open a window then I throw a pillow outside the window then throw her outside the window and hope she lands on the pillow. Go out into the backyard and send your mom a picture of a random slong you find on the internet, preferably one that could be yours. 
Then when they go out to yell at you, GF slips out. Say you meant to send it to your GF and that's it's not yours. Whip yours out as proof that it's not. Why bother? Just leave her there. Keep her under your bed, she could be your house girl. Wait until they fall asleep. When they get home from a trip, they are always so exhausted that they fall asleep. Out the window bro. Walk out the front door. Treat the girl with some respect dude. 